Hello, for those of us that have had a lot of rain recently, we're in a welcome spell of drier, if rather cold weather. And this theme continues across England and Wales at first in the week ahead, slowly turning milder from the north with a further risk of fog and then wetter and windier for all of us by Friday. We start Monday with this area of high pressure, but notice this frontal system just grazing the north of Scotland and that will continue to bring outbreaks of rain here through Monday. Initially heavy and persistent, particularly across the Western Isles, somewhat patchier by the time it gets to the central belt, could see a bit of rain into southern Scotland through the afternoon. Cloudy, mainly dry across Northern Ireland after a cold sunny start across England and Wales, increasing cloud across Northern England and North Wales. Fairly light winds, but a brisk westerly wind across the western side of Scotland, pushing in some milder air. So nine, maybe 10 Celsius here, six to eight Celsius for England, Wales and Northern Ireland. Another cold feeling day. But heavy rain across Scotland transfers its way into the Northern Isles through Monday evening. Heavy and persistent for a time and then it clears away. So we start Tuesday dry, still very cold and frosty across much of Wales, central southern England. Not quite as cold this stage across northern England because we're starting to see more cloud feeding its way across and temperatures probably staying above freezing again across northern Scotland. As we go into Tuesday in this area of high pressure starting to drift its way slowly eastwards, it will start to introduce some slightly moister air. So that means a risk of fog returning on Tuesday morning, especially across England and Wales. Some of it could be quite dense and also slow to lift. Where it does, then we'll see some good spells of sunshine and it's a dry day across the UK on Tuesday. Still quite cloudy across northern and western Scotland. Could even hear some spells of sunshine. 10 Celsius the high here, 6 to 8 Celsius again for England, Wales, Northern Ireland, but starting to see something milder, slowly pushing into the far southwest of England. Midweek, we have this frontal system to deal with, which will introduce more cloud across Northern Ireland, not much else. Some heavy rain for a time across Scotland, but soon easing away. And it's mild here, also across Northern Ireland. Still on the cold side, though, through the Midlands, East Anglia and South East England. That will slowly start to change as we go through Thursday. Notice frontal systems pushing in from the Atlantic, the isobars close together. So a wet, windy day across Scotland. Some heavy and persistent rain here, just fringing Northern Ireland for a time through the morning. Cloud increasing across Northern England, elsewhere across England and Wales, dry with some sunshine. But starting to see those temperatures starting to climb a little bit, a sign of something milder by the end of the week. But with that comes something wetter and windier. Isobars tightly packed together, frontal system sliding its way across the UK, but also introducing some milder air. So we lose the blue colours, the colder air, and briefly replace it with something milder on Friday. But it will be quite an unsettled day. Spells of wet, windy weather pushing across England and Wales. Some of the heaviest rain, actually, for England and Wales. Some outbreaks of rain, too, for Scotland, but a little bit patchy compared to the rain further south. Look at the temperatures, though, widely into double figures, 11 or 12 Celsius. May not feel that way, given the strength of the wind and also the rain. So let's end this forecast by looking at the jet stream as we go into the weekend and further ahead. Notice how we start to get these dips in the jet stream, which means we'll probably see changes day by day. So some spells of rain, then drier, but also colder because we start to pull down a northerly wind once again. So all change as we look further ahead.